SUVs continue to grow in popularity. In fact, in 2020, people bought two times as many SUVs as cars. It's no surprise considering all the SUVs offer. The Sport Utility Vehicle, or SUV, is popular due to the number of features that they have. They are durable in snowy weather, have decent enough gas mileage, and can fit a good number of passengers. Like the name says, the SUV was originally used for transporting sporting equipment and to an extent athletes. Nowadays, it's used by families and just about everyone. It's a popular vehicle to have. However, just because something is popular does not always mean that it is perfect and free from flaws. SUVs have their fair share of problems like any other type of vehicle. These are also not just repair-related issues as well. For any repair issues, it is good to go to the professionals, like Twin Charlotte, who specializes in transmission repairs, for example. Yet SUVs aren't perfect. Here are some of the biggest problems with SUVs. SUVs are more likely to roll over than cars. It's probably nothing new to hear that SUVs are more prone to rollovers. One of the biggest reasons that SUVs roll over more than cars is that they have a high center of gravity and can be top heavy. This means that when the vehicle turns sharply, as can happen if it is struck or the driver makes a sudden and sharp maneuver, there's a higher possibility that it will roll over than a car in the same situation. It can be harder to brake in a large SUV. The bigger and heavier vehicle is, the more time it takes to stop it when braking. If you compare how long it takes a 2021 Chevy Suburban to stop from 60 miles per hour on dry pavement, 145 feet, to a small sedan like the 2021 Toyota Corolla, 134 feet, you can see that the larger vehicle is at a disadvantage. False advertising. Seen in just about every commercial for an SUV, viewers see the driver taking it all over off-road terrain. While they can withstand various environments, like snow and rain, many SUVs are incapable of truly competent off-road driving. In fact, most of them are made for the road only. SUVs can be dangerous for other cars on the road. When two vehicles are in an accident with one another, the larger vehicle tends to fare better. While this may be reassuring to the occupants in an SUV, it can be fatally problematic for those in cars. SUVs typically keep moving forward in accidents with lighter cars. Because of this, occupants in the heavier vehicle don't receive the same force of impact as those in the smaller vehicle. Instead, the SUV pushes that force onto the smaller car. Are SUVs bad for the environment? SUVs are being advertised in such a way to make people think that they are a great way to get back to nature. They are in a sense a return to nature. However, there are some problems that people are not aware of. In actuality, these vehicles cause a great deal of environmental problems. Research has shown that these vehicles are destroying our natural resources. While SUVs are being advertised as off-road vehicles, most people do not take them off-road at all. It has been found that out of all SUVs being bought, only 5% of the drivers take them off-road. Most, if not all, are being used for everyday purposes. It's no secret that SUVs aren't known for having great fuel efficiency. Just how bad is this for the environment? Some say that the preference for heavier SUVs is offsetting fuel efficiency improvements in smaller cars and carbon savings from the growing popularity of electric vehicles. A report by the International Energy Agency found that SUVs are the second biggest cause of the rise in global carbon dioxide emissions since 2010. Is buying an SUV worth it? There are things that can be done to combat some of the biggest problems with SUVs. Driving carefully is one of the top ways to stay safer in them. There is a consensus among safety experts that SUV drivers tend to drive more carelessly than their smaller counterparts, at least partly because they feel safer in their vehicles. By slowing down and taking turns carefully, SUV drivers can reduce the likelihood of an accident and rollover. Another way to stay safe in an SUV is to leave plenty of time to brake. Don't follow other vehicles too closely, and remember that it takes longer to slow down and stop in a large SUV. As far as reducing the carbon footprint of SUVs, these are steps that can be taken. Driving less is always good for the environment, so walking when possible and driving less frequently will certainly help. Car manufacturers are starting to make more hybrid and electric SUVs. 
which will also allow people to keep the vehicles they love while doing less damage to the environment. Even though SUVs have their problems, they likely aren't going away anytime soon. Not only do they have a lot of great attributes like space and safety, but people like them. And as long as people are buying them, car manufacturers will continue to make them. Yet, we can try to minimize some of the biggest problems with SUVs when possible. These are just several of the many problems that are being caused by SUVs. There are many other problems associated with these vehicles. And before you rush out and buy them because they look great, you should be aware of the problems that they are causing to the environment and safety on the roads. Thank you for watching and stay tuned.